Supported by East Coast steel workers, President Trump imposed tariffs of 25% on imported steel and 10% on aluminum. Local Congresswoman Jamie Herrera Butler believes those tariffs could hurt jobs in Southwest Washington, and she shared her concerns with the president. Today, our Wayne Haverly spoke with the Republican Congresswoman and has more. Wayne? Yeah, President Trump signed that tariff deal just hours after receiving a formal letter from Congresswoman Herrera Butler urging him to reconsider his tariff move. The Steelscape plan in Kalama, which employs 250 workers, could be hurt by the president's 25% tariff on steel. Like several other West Coast steel producers, Steelscape relies on imports from Pacific Rim countries. It coats and paints these huge coils you see of steel for the construction industry. Congresswoman Herrera Butler told the president the transportation costs of steel shipped by rail from the Midwest would cost Steelscape $65 more per ton than steel arriving by ship from Australia. Australia and Japan. Steelscape is going to exist on the West Coast. This is where it has to come from. And in my mind, we want those jobs here. It's not that it's taking business away from steel producers on the East Coast. It just simply wouldn't have happened. Well, Steelscape supplies its construction products to thousands of businesses. Officials at Steelscape did not return calls today, but last week a company official told the Daily News the best case scenario for Steelscape is to receive some kind of an exemption out of all this. The only exemptions the president talked about today was for Canada and Mexico. However, he did hint that he would leave the door open for more negotiations on this issue. That metal tariff takes effect in 15 days. Back to you.